And now on to the cannons. These are the 12 pounders. Um, there are 30 of them to be built. Um, the cannon carriages are this lot here. And they're for the smaller ones down the bottom here. It consists of twenty pieces. Sorry, twenty four pieces per cannon. Um, brass wood. So the first thing we're going to do is make up the carriages. Uh, as these have to be painted yellow ochre before we add the rest of the components. Um, the completed carriage up to the painting stage looks like this guy here. Very simple. Now, these carriages, we're going to leave the wheels in place because they're too easy to lose. In fact, I'll Take this baseboard out of the way while I cut this. Assemble them because it's a lot easier to see you doing me doing it on the green background. And we don't need that until we start actually doing the um, rigging. So quite simply we'll work our way down here and then down that lot. So normal process. Cut them out. That's one side. The other side. You can see because they're CNC, they're covered in a lot of uh, junk. This comes off fairly easily. But we do need to clean it up. fairly easy to put together like some of the other cannon sites I've built because they're a lot cleaner just hang on while I grab my glasses or headset so I can see what I'm doing and we'll clean them right up right, so I'll make sure these are cleaned up properly
that's those. Now yeah, let's clean the dirt off the trucks. Vacuum up in a second. Quite simply, these go together according to the instructions. Move this out of the way. Pop this on enough so you can see it. pieces I just put on it, eh? just doesn't help. So, the larger truck goes to the front. Spacing will be enough to spread it appropriately. And these will fit tightly on this thing. I do fit down nice and tight. Let's see what they are. I'll put it together on this one here. Take the plan out of the way. Get some PVA. And uh, put in our little lid here. Move for a second. Grab our first one. And those guys are cleaned out. The glue in the front here. Add some glue. In the riser. this guy in place. The same on the other side. We'll grab this room on. Make sure that's cleaned out. Roughly on both sides. And the appropriate glue here and here. This one. I'm 
I'll get my fingers in the right position. It'll all line up. of you that are older than me, I'm probably gonna you're probably gonna say there's no such thing as old age call. down and 28 to go uh, I'll uh, be back when we've uh, completed those 28 cheers well it arrived today I ordered it three or four days ago from the England to Australia it's the Calder Craft cannon kit for the two missing cannons that I had you can order just these separately, but they were out of stock. Uh, so it was just easier for me, um, cost-wise, to order a complete kit, which contains all the wires. So it means I'll have some extra stuff and extra carriages. And I can now build all 30 cannons, which is excellent. All right, so we now have 30 little trucks. Um, and we now have to paint them ochre before adding the wheels, which uh, have to be clear, and uh, painting the axles black. So we'll uh, paint up one of these. All right, well, hopefully the sound from the other side doesn't come through. We've uh, painted these all up. These are all yellow now. And now we're gonna take uh, all the wheels out and cut those out. Once we've cut those out, as you see, they remain clear and we paint bottom sections here black so that's what a truck looks like um, with its clear wheels and its black axles uh, prior to anything else being added there's still some crossboards and other pieces to add for that but that's the raw truck uh, I'll cut a couple of wheels out and show you how those fit and uh, then I'll see you once we've uh, completed all 30 of these So, there's four wheels for every truck. Just cut these out. And we'll pop them out in our container here. Mm, yeah, you can see it. I just wasn't sure. Don't worry, we're not going to lose them. Clean the wheels up. And, yep, I dropped one. I've probably lost it. We'll see how we go. Alright, so that's our four little wheels cut out. Now, before we put them on the truck, we have to uh, round the edges of these a little bit. Otherwise they won't fit. And let's pull the track apart, but I'll we'll fix that. Anyway, that's how we clean those. Now we need to take some black paint and uh, Clean up these uh, trucks, this black. Mm 
and uh, oops, that's come apart it's because that's me not gluing it properly. Anyway, I'll let that dry and uh, I'll put the wheels on. Cheers. All right, just a few to go. Cleaned up and uh, added to the remaining trucks. The others are in here. And once we've done that, we will do the next section. Cheers. All right, so all the cannon trucks have been completed and the wheels added. I've had to paint them black. Next we're going to do is take one millimeter wire for a quinion support and that goes in this small hole in here which is smaller than a millimeter so I'll have to drill that out with a one mil drill fit them through and glue those into place got 30 of those to cut once you've cut those I'll uh, show you how the next bit goes all right so let's uh, do one of these little guys Here's the um, pin vise with a one mil drill. Clean the hole out on both sides. Copper through. Line it up. There's some wire cutters. And it's done. Next, same thing. Drill the hole. Thread the copper through. Just flush it on that side, flush cut on this side, and done. And one more pin vise. Make sure she's through nice and straight. Put the copper through. This last one's not going to go straight. There it is. Cut it. And that is how you do your wiring for your truck. I'll do the rest. Alright, so next thing to do is do the basic plank for the cannon. As you can see, it actually goes all the way to the edge here on the larger cannons and the smaller ones that go back to just that. Yeah. I've measured the distance here. One of these. You can see. And I'll finish cutting up Two, four, five, six. Seven. Eight. 
9. Und 10. That gives us uh, three pilots. Two, three, which is for the 30 cannons. And then glue that strip on. The, uh, the other cannons. And uh, we'll continue to the next process. Cheers. Alright, to add the boards. Grab my face. Dip it in some glue. Oops. Drop to redo that. So I'm gonna run out of glue on my finger. Yes, I'm doing a bit of dropping it, guys. Give me another go. Grab the blanth and glue on it. Some glue on this end. Make sure she's all lined up straight. You know what, I just did a dozen of these off camera and absolutely no issues. It's typical, isn't it? It goes to show. Not everything goes to plan all the time. Okay, let's try another one to show that we can actually do it quickly. Glue on the end, touch the end. Drop it down. There we go, done. Another track. Another one of these. And end. Glue it up at the end. This is our first ten done. Hmm. One more. And that is the first 10 trucks done. And I'll do the others and uh, see how we go. Alright, now we have to cut the quinon, which holds the cannon in the handled position. This is cut from the 3x3 three three walnut. Um, I've measured the size that's needed. And given we have 13 cannons, when, and these are split in half, and I'll show you how they split in half in a second. We need to cut 15 of these, which will give us 30 cannons, and I've done four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I didn't just knock some on the floor. Two, four. Six, seven, and I did. I shall pick those up and uh, we'll continue. All right, pardon my movement. All right, so atta to attach the quinones is quite simple. 
uh, you can tour your tracks. One of the little quinon pieces that we've got. Now we cut that at 60 degrees. So I'll place this in the chopper three down the end, and that should cut it nicely in half. So we have two small pieces. All right. Now measure the correct width. You'll need to take one of your cannons and uh, the support wire that you've got to cut. Uh, I'll show you how to do that when I build one of these up. I simply put that in there. Get your little unit, make sure it's set the right way. Be very small. Dip it in its glue. Basically put it in position where it should be. You may not be able to see that. Now what you need to do is get the cannon, put it in place, and adjust this backwards and forwards. So the cannon is horizontal, which it is. I know that that's correct. So turn that one around. And just recheck it. Butterfingers this morning. So it needs to be moved forward to the cannon. It's horizontal. Take that out of the way, let it dry, grab the other one, with the other half, we cut, dip it in the glue, put it in place, grab the can. on top of the truck, adjust pos position, horizontal, and let it dry. And that's how you add the quinin. Very, very simple. Alright, so we've added these guys, these guys, all the wheels. We had to paint up the black axles on all 30. One. Oh, I'm not going to do all 30 in front of you. So that would drive you crazy. And me. Can you get the gist? Magic, that one's already done. Must have been one I demonstrated earlier, and I've forgotten that I've done it. Anyway, hopefully no one can understand the music that's going on in the background, so I won't get any complaints from YouTube. Otherwise, I'll be really, really, really annoyed if I have to redo these. But if I keep talking over it, then you don't get sick of me 
talking, then maybe the background noise will get, oops. No, that didn't work really well, did it? And we'll have to clean that one. Do one more. Because I'm doing this without any glasses on. It's probably not the best thing to do. Anyway, you get the gist. Let's turn the wheels black. And uh, we'll then uh, gel all the holes and portions for the gear. That's all got to be uh, soaked and uh, have the colour changed. And we'll do that next. Bye. All right, so I've cut 30 lengths of copper wire, which sits in the cannons here. And they, as you know, do it all one handed. Sit there and hold the cannon in place. We've now got uh, some fittings to these guys to go over the top. I'll hunt those out on the PE sheet and I'll show you how to uh, change the colour on all of these to a nice dark grey black colour. Um, those in there. We've also got to hunt up the eyelets and the nails that go through. And uh, we'll find all those in a sec, but that's the cannons and the bases. And I'll get these guys to go in with that, and then I'll show you how to copper, or change the copper to a dark colour. Thank you. Alright, so the buckets for the cannon trunnions come in groups of one, two, three, six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's five cannons, ten cannons, fifteen cannons, twenty cannons, twenty five cannons. 30 cannons, so we can put this away. This is the brass nails that need to be cut. Go through this guy. They can go in here. Six, sixty of those, thirty cannons. Move the actual cannons aside. And what we need now is the brass hooks, which are also on the sheets. Which are these guys. We need, one moment, while I look it up. One, two. Six of these per cannon. Tear this sheet, hope we can get it out. And I shall count these offline, then let you know how many they are, rather than you watch me count them. 
adding up is correct. There's 45 per sheet. So we will need four per cannon. That's 10, 15, 20, 30. And we'll take the one sheet off here. Should be more than enough. If it's not, we'll uh, do some more. But for now, uh, that's it. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, clean these guys in some acetone. Take off any wax coating or anything that was there as part of the etching process to create them. Same with uh, this guy. We'll cut, him in, cut him in half, make it a little easier. With um, uh, good quality cutting tools. I'll find out where I put it. Back in a sec. Well, do get yourself a good cut of pair of cutting tools. It makes life so much easier. Cut these guys. Should be good enough. Now we clean them with some clean water. And we'll do the same with our little off the thing that we can't, not that we should need to. These things are normally pretty good to copy wire. It tends not to be coated in anything. But, for brevity's sake, we'll do it this way. Certainly won't hurt. And should make the next process a lot easier. Right, let's uh, clean this out. Bits of wire. Mm. 
Those are the bits of rubbish that are sitting in here. Paint container. Doesn't matter. Makes it interesting for cleaning this off. I guess it was probably old PVA glue. We anyway, will clean these jars in a second. Yeah, I'll show you the next process. All right, some chemical time. Now we've got water in here and water in there, and we're going to add some bluing agent to this guy. Probably more than enough. If you don't have it, if you have it too strong, it chews through the brass. And we should now be able to take this brass sheet. All these little, little copper things on it. Drop it in here. And fingers crossed, it should go blue. Put two of them in here. Now this is fairly old bluing agent, so I may have to open up a fresh bottle. Bear with me while we do that. So, fresh bottle of brass black. And that's now starting to slowly blacken these guys. It does take a while to do it. I'll add these ones in as well. Yeah. All of these guys. Well, this might take several soaks to get this to work properly. Some of it will blow up straight away. As you can see with the uh, copper, it goes up fairly quick. The etch stuff will take a little bit longer. Starting to colour. Right, just a little bit more. Doesn't hurt, just means you gotta keep your eye on it. As the more of this you use, the stronger it is. And it will act quicker. But it also means the stuff needs to be taken out quicker. To stop it from chewing through it. The thinner this plating is, and these guys have all stuck together, of course. Typical, that's what I expect. As you can see, stuff is starting to blacken up in here now. Now 
now not everything will stay on here some of it will oxidize and not change the color and will fall off when I put it on the paper which means it will need a second dose we're dunking as you can see see the black comes off but if we leave that for about 10 or 15 minutes it should blacken up nicely for us all right so we've taken them out of the bluing agent washed them in the water as you can see they're uh, no longer nice shiny brass things I'll just wash those guys Pick this last one up, making itself divvying up. Right, so, as you can see, the little all the copper rods no longer copper in colour. Well, these have got a lot of um, oxidizing residue on them, so which I'll have to clean off. I'll just rub them clean when they dry. Not when it's wet. These are a little bit long. I measured them, so it's easy enough to cut off the excess afterwards. Which we'll do when we finish off the cans. These guys, you'll remember them being all nice and shiny. No, they're not. Mm. Let these guys dry. Give them a rub clean. And if you need to re-dip them, we will. It gives you an idea what happens when you put a cannon in one of these. Fingers crossed. It should blow up on me. Right, uh, we may need to acetone it. Acetone it first. Means I don't know which one's the bluing agent, and which one's not. We'll soon find out. Anyway, if that works, cool. If it doesn't, well. We'll uh, do another tape anyway, showing you how I do the cannons. Bye. All right, so I've just added the cannons in here as well. And then I'm just starting to uh, darken up. And uh, it's going to take quite a bit longer. Sit, sit there for quite a while. They're uh, starting to tarnish. Yeah, quite a way to go. Mm -hmm. Well, they've been sitting in there for about 15 minutes now. They're nice and black. Uh -huh. Let the water wash them off. And we'll give them a rub. Take the black um, stuff off. So it won't be perfectly done. And I'll we'll give them a rub and then after I've given them a rub put them back in for another soak 
as you can see, uh, they're starting to blacken up quite nicely. And this is <laughs> not exactly clear anymore. Here's from the rack, there is another one in here. That's it. Get these soaked for a while. And I'll give them a clean with a cloth. And I'll drop them back in here for a second bath. Because I don't want the cannons to look half done. Let it sit for a while. Alright, so give them a good clean with a rag. It's gone back to that. And drop them back in again. And hopefully that should be enough. I'll try the rest of them off, drop them in there, and I'll pull them out again shortly. All right, time to take out the cans, clean them up. All blackened up nicely by the look of it. Pardon me, but I'm just making the needs a little bit longer. Conversational noise because my wife's got music playing in the background, and I don't want YouTube to suddenly start telling me that we've got copyright issues. So bear with me. I'll finish working on these and I'll show you how they all go. And that's all the cannons and all the connectors and all the pieces. And this guy here. And these will all get assembled onto this. Uh, next thing we need to do is drill holes for these and put them in. Drill the pins for these, bend them over the supports and put the cannon in place. And that will be the next video. Thank you. Oh, well, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see these or not. That's the truck, and these are the parts needed to build the cannon. There's one 24mm long cannon, one bracket for the cannon, four pins yet to be uh, in dark, a set of brackets to hold this guy on, 
and these very, 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 very small eyelets, the brass eyelets, which was also uh, darkened. 0.5mm drill and a 0.7mm drill. Now uh, I shall be assembling these slowly, bit by bit. Cheers. Oh, I hope everybody can hear anything because I've got a 3D printer blaring away in the background. Anyway, let's start assembling this cannon. Right, a support. Should be centered. Right, so I'm going to include that portion in. Now, yeah, we're going to assemble this. Now, there are, with 0.5mm drill, we're going to drill six holes. One here. Done. One on the side here. Just second one down. Same on the other side. A hole at the front. And two above the axles. It's one here. Not sure whether you can see this or not. One there. Now we take these little eyelets. And some super glue. And glue them in place. One there. Do six of these in total. It's two. And now I've bent the pin on this one. Fine they are. Glue is sticking it to my fingers. Doesn't make it easy to get off. I don't know why the pliers aren't holding it. And then we'll clean these pliers off. Bit of dirt on the end of them. That wouldn't help. Previous clues to why they won't hold perfectly. Anyway, this should be better. Much better. And two more on either end. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's not professional what I'm doing at the moment with glue all over the place, but uh, I'm just doing it as quick as I can. And we can show you and one more. It's the six. Right, so this track now has six units on it. On the top piece, it's a bit too long, so we shall cut that with the pliers in a second. I'll find out what I actually did with my pliers. I'll clean this desk up. Let me clean this up, and then I should be uh, able to help. Right, so the next thing we need to do is drop the cannon into place and add the brackets that hold it in, which are these two guys, which I've press bent over the wire so they're the right shape. And we need to add those with a little bit of super glue. Hopefully, this some left in this old bottle, no, there's not, so put a little bit on with the new bottle. And I've just noticed that my light isn't on, so you probably couldn't see what I'm recording properly. Anyway, add a bit of glue to the end of these guys. This is not the most efficient way of doing it, but for now. Video purposes, I can't find my unit, so leave that guy into place. And now, I simply add these brackets over the top. You say simply add. It's always the way when you do it on live video and it doesn't exactly want to go into place. It wants to stick to everything but what it's supposed to stick to. Uh, you know, it's the joys of doing this for you guys. Those in place, I'll let that dry and then I'll drill the two additional holes so we can put these pins in it. And the cannon from a physical build place is complete. Uh, the next piece will be the actual rigging. Cheers. Alright, to do this last part, I need to drill with 0.7mm drill. Could use a Dremel, but I prefer doing it manually. I feel I've got more control. And it's half the fun of the hobby. Moved. And the last one at the rear.
Right, yeah, we should be able to. Put these pins through. Need to make them a bit smaller than what they were. Quarter the size of them. These cocky little things to get them into place. It's going to make it easy, isn't it? And you can see how small they are. And I flicked it out again. That one in. <sighs> Butterfingers. I love it how you can get it in place and then knock it out so easily. I'll give it another drill, in case it wasn't tight enough. And it should fit quite simply. But... That explains why it's just gone in crooked. That one was on top there afterwards. And these other little guys. A bit longer, so it's probably easier to fit. We cut that one a fraction short. It's much better. And the last one.
Bear with me. Tricky little bugger to get in. I just misplaced it. Right. I didn't know where that came from. I'm sure I'll find it again later. Let's get this one put in. There, it's got them in. Now yeah, we'll fix up that little spot of grass with the blackener. And blacken it back up. Don't you have anything else that might have Coppery on us as a result of scratching. And there's a cannon complete, minus its rigging. Cheers.